Hey guys, it's Amy Lee Simpson. I'm coming at you today with a word from the Lord uh, just from last night, 12.30 a.m. as usual. And um, the Lord really wanted me to encourage you with this word today because he equated our walk with him like a waltz through a garden. So we know that the Lord was in the garden in the beginning and this life that we're living now is sort of like a life between two gardens. Uh, Lisa Turkhurst has an analogy about this that I just love and it talks about this fallen world that we live in and how we crave perfection of the Garden of Eden and heaven. And so we're living this life between two gardens. Uh, it's a really beautiful sermon um, that she gives about that. So you should definitely check it out. If I can find it, I'll put a link in there. Um, but the Lord gave me this vision last night about this walk in this garden. It was really about my son. Uh, but as I prayed on that, trying to figure out how I wanted to share it with you for today, he gave me a word, but he also reminded me that though the Lord was in the garden and he was communing with us there, there was also an enemy in the garden. There was a serpent and that is the deceiver. That is the, the enemy that is coming to cause you to question, to cause you to doubt, to cause you to fear and really question the word of the Lord to say, is that really what you said, Lord? Is this promise really real? Um, is this what you have for me, God? Or is there something else? Maybe I just need to know more. So um, this word is called the wealth of a nation and a walk in the garden. All sons and daughters, come walk in the garden with me in the cool of the morning. The crisp dew on the grass under our feet and the first strokes of sunshine painting the sky with new mercies and fresh purpose, once again alighting on your face. Oh, how the trials and failures of yesterday fail to survive here where we walk together. Though you try to drag them along with us, you fail to see that they cannot stay, for I am growing something fresh here. I am doing a new thing. I know you do not yet see it. Hidden behind growing leaves and sprouting vines are the young fruits I am bringing to maturity for just the right time. Don't bemoan the waiting nor the pruning needed to ensure they reach their fullness. And don't be too hasty and try to pluck those giftings and appointments before their time. For their season is coming and the fruit will be that much sweeter when it's ripe. I know the patience required to wait for the full harvest often feels like a test or even a torment. But what I am growing here in you is the wealth of the nation. Like a seed in your hand and the soil in mine, if you plant and water and abide in this place of partnership, I will multiply your investment and your inheritance will extend to the ends of the earth. Yes, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, I will nurture every seed to its perfection and abundance until your harvest overwhelms and overflows. For it is my delight to cultivate what I planted in you. When you forget you are carriers and caretakers of my promises, you leave the best to rot away. You are meant to taste and see the goodness of my plans for you. So stay and walk with me in the garden. Together we are growing something so much better, richer, sweeter, and fuller than all you've imagined you could have. For you are my greatest treasure and the riches I plan to pour through you will finally convince you of your worth. That last line was like a gut punch to me as the Lord just reminded me once again that I am his daughter. And like the Lord was with Adam and Eve in the garden and like the Lord sent his son down to earth to be with us and his Holy Spirit to lead and guide us, he wants us to know our worth. He wants you to see yourself as he sees you and to know that he is not done, that what he has started, he will finish. And he wants to partner with you in this growing season. I love you, he loves you. Have the best day, guys. I'm praying over you, praying abundance and blessing and growth for this season of harvest. Don't stress, don't belabor the time here uh, in the cultivating season because God is growing something amazing in you. And we're gonna see the fruit of it in our lifetime. Have the best day, see you next time.